take two. Hi, it's Robin from Sassery Consulting. It's um, dress down day on Friday. I wanted to talk to you about uh, MAPSAF. Um, I've always liked this. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail about it. You can read about it online. It, all the data's there. But I love the way that um, you've got levels of maturity with respect to a safety culture. And of course this applies to safety um, and the research done as it was around safety. But I've always wondered whether that could apply to effectiveness, to quality cultures in general. If you were to say where 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 are we at when it comes to our say, our culture for audit, would it be categorised by saying that we've got systems and processes in place to manage audit, or would you say that it's moving towards the proactive and generative side? And you know these two um, proactive and generative levels are characterised by what the research talks about as a chronic unease. In the, in the field of safety, that uneasiness is, is basically saying we, we might have been safe today, but we may not be safe tomorrow unless we're proactive about it. And of course, when you get to a generative culture, it's talking about uh, being part of the fabric um, of the organisation. Uh, safety is just the way they do things. So I think those ideas can be transplanted over to uh, an audit culture towards an effectiveness culture, towards a quality improvement culture in general. So that's my uh, thought for the day, really. Uh, where, are we, where are you with your audit culture? When you're looking at your strategy for the next few years, um, don't be content with just getting to this level. Look towards getting here as quickly as you can and then moving on uh, to get to the phase where we're really demonstrating that audit is making that significant, sustained improvement in healthcare quality. Have a good weekend, keep facilitating, and I'll see you next time.